Nylon was discovered by an American chemist called Dr. Carruthers, who was trying to make silk, and silk is a protein. And he said, I'm going to put together molecules to make uh, a protein-like structure. And he took molecules, which were rather not quite the same as this. There are a number of ways of making nylon. These are the ones I'm going to take to make nylon and to show you this. He took molecule with two amino groups on either end, and this is just a hydrocarbon in the middle, molecule with two chlorine atoms on either end, and a molecule with amino groups. He took a lot of those and a lot of those and mixed them. And when he mixed them, a reaction occurred. These are combined to form these combine to form... I pulled the wrong one off, haven't I? I pulled the ox oxygen off, I'm sorry. These combine to form hydrogen chloride. And so these molecules could link up like this. But you see they're reactive at both ends. So the other end can do the same thing. And, we can, and we've got a molecule twice as long. If I do it again, form another hydrogen chloride. And link up again. We have a molecule three times as long, and so you can go on and on and get the long threads of nylon. Let me show you that this actually does happen uh, spontaneously. Here I have... This is the one with the chlorine atoms on, which is called sebasoil chloride. Now, I'll pour that in first because it's dissolved in carbon tetrachloride, which is heavy. And this is dissolved in water. This is the other one. The hexamethylene diamine, which I'll pour on the top of this first layer, so. And you can probably see already perhaps a bit of hydrogen chloride coming off, which I, we would expect from what I said. And you can probably also see some goo has been formed. Can you see some goo? Hmm? Oh, yes. Right. Well, let's just pull out a bit of that goo, like this. See? i pull the goo out, some of it, and a bit more. Now, very shortly, with a bit of luck, if I can get it from the wall, we shall get thread of nylon. But it tend, the nylon tends to stick to the wall a little bit. There we go. Thread of nylon. And we can spin some more nylon. We'll put a little spinneret on it, like this. Put this over the top of the beaker. So, do a bit more fishing. Nylon out. There's a thread. Put him over the spinneret. And then I don't have to work very hard if gravity will do it for me. Let's see whether gravity will do it for me. There it goes, and it'll go on spinning until it's it's used up all the all the liquid. And that's nylon thread. And that has been, let's let gravity have a bit more chance by raising it. And that's going spontaneously all the time, you see. The molecules are combining spontaneously uh, without any help. Because these molecules have enough energy to do so and to combine spontaneously.